like, bro. She got, she got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> another reaction this is seven lessons men learn too late in life might hurt your feelings hey man uh, i think it's never too late to really learn anything new and try to turn your uh, life around i mean you don't want to wait too long to where like you could have had the time to do the things you really wanted to while you're still young or at least be building up your life while you're still young and then be able to do the things you really want later on like in your 30s and 40s and stuff like you don't want to wait till you're like 40 to want to try to turn your life around because by the time you actually get to the point where you think you're comfortable you'll be 50 and and you're not necessarily as physically, you know, up there anymore. You can't really do as much as you will want to. Like, all the nice, crazy stuff. Like, maybe doing as... You know what I mean? But it's like... Um, there's definitely things out here. You know, there's like a lot of hearsay that goes around with all this social media and internet stuff. You know, you're being bombarded with a lot of different feelings and opinions. Especially opinions on men. You know, how you're supposed to act. How you're supposed to feel. You know, the way you're supposed to treat others around you. Just, you know, just... I don't know. You, you just see it. You can just feel it in the air. You can see it. Like, there's a lot of men who don't really have a direction for their life. Um, who don't necessarily know what they want to do with themselves or they feel like they're not um, applying themselves or they don't feel like they're, they have anything to really offer anyone. Um, I don't know. You just got to do that exploring for yourself. Do that research. Get out there. Interact with people. Network with people. You know, you, you, know, you never know what person or what opportunity might come around. And you might end up liking it. It might be something you can do for the rest of your life. and maybe be able to give you access to things you really want to do. Well, yeah, we're going to hop right into this video. I'm really interested to see what it has to say. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share with a 10K. That rhymed. We're going to hop right in. Wake up to reality. There are things men don't realize until it's too late. And all they are left with is regret. There is a saying that goes, dead people receive more flowers than the living ones because regret is stronger than gratitude. That is true. Regret is one of the strongest emotions and this should never be underestimated. Let us discuss seven things other men regret so you don't have to make these mistakes. Make sure you stick around until the end because the last one might just be the most important. Number one. Letting other people kill your dreams. Imagine letting your dreams die because of other people's judgment. That is what happens to most people. More often than not, these other people will not be relevant anymore in your life 10 years from now. This means you didn't pursue your dreams for people that weren't going to be in your life. If you have any people in your life that don't support your dreams and goals, you have to cut them off. Don't even let your close family laugh at your dreams. Be ruthless with this, as you are the one that is responsible for your future. Ask yourself this. If you didn't know anyone, what risk would you take? What would you do differently if there was no one that was going to judge you? Maybe you would start a YouTube channel or start a business. The regret people feel when they realize they didn't take action because of other people will be unbearable. Number two, standing up against bullies. We all get introduced to bullies in school, but the reality is that bullies appear in all stages of life. Mm. Bullying happens everywhere. It can happen at your job or even within your family. One of the biggest regrets humans can face is not standing up to bullies. We all know that bullies only pick people that they consider to be weaker than them. Do not tolerate bullying. If someone tries to bully you, know that he considers you a weakling. You must make him pay for this. Be ruthless with bullies, as the only way to stop a bully is by showing strength. In the animal kingdom, there is a small animal that never gets bullied. The honey badger. This animal is very small. Yet they do not allow stronger animals to bully them, and they don't let themselves become prey. They will fight until the end if they have to. These small animals are so fierce that even a hungry lion would rather look for another prey than having to fight such a ferocious opponent. For the honey badger, it does not matter if there is a bear or even a lion pride. No matter how big and strong the opponent, if they don't let the honey badger walk off, he will bite their nose off or gouge out their eyes. 
Right. No one wants to mess with someone that will fight into its last breath. Adopt the mentality of the honey badger. Make the person that is trying to bully you experience hell, and you will not get bullied again. Number three, wasting your prime years. Wasting your prime is the biggest mistake a man can make. We all peak and have our prime years. The years where it feels like the mental matches the physical. It can feel like the world lays at your fingertips during these years. Believe it or not, most men never truly get to experience these prime years. Aim to become a beast physically and mentally during your younger years, so you can face challenges and look back proudly later in life. You have incredible potential. Do not waste it. Number four, letting opportunities slip by. Mm. It's common sense to make the most of your opportunities and advantages or you think it would be. Most people let opportunities slip by every single day. You need to take advantage of the opportunities presented to you. We live in the absolute best time to become successful. The world is ripe with so much opportunity. It's almost unbelievable. With yeah, uh, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, like these prime years, like your 20s, up until your 30, early 30s, man, it's, I think this is really the time for you to like, be able to take in, learn. I mean, you're always going to be learning throughout your life, but these are the years where you're really taking and learning. You're making the steps necessary to get yourself in a position where you can want to do the things later on, like the 40, 50, you know, late 30s, you're able to go out, travel, meet people, continue to build whatever you're doing, your career, your business, um, this, your network, all that. You know, that's the type of, you know, that's the time where you really want to, you know, be able to take advantage of everything. And like you said, we live in a time now where it's easier than ever to really get out there and push yourself out there and get in those positions made. Get those positions made for yourself. I mean, you have the internet. You know, it, it's, talk, it's toxic as that can be sometimes. You have the internet. You're, you're being exposed to billions of people around the world at once. You know, you have these different platforms where you can, like, like make a pretty much build a career off of it. Even for me with this YouTube channel, I don't want to just... It's not going to just be reactions forever. You know, it's going to be clothing line. You know, based off the logo, it's going to be TV shows, comic books, you know, me out there interacting with uh, like socially, you know, doing the social interviews and stuff, pranks, you know, like really building up the channel, branching off, being able to interact with new companies and stuff like that. Whenever we do get to that point to where we're actually like bringing in numbers and stuff, you know, I, I want to turn I'm really trying to turn this into a business. So maybe eventually I can be able to get into like the media outlet, you know, and be able to make my own movie, have my own studio and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I think I really agree with that. Not wasting those prime years. And taking advantage of all of the technology and shit that we have now. It's insane. The internet, you can start an online business and work from wherever you want. Exactly. If you're willing to grind and just never give up, you can earn your freedom. Take advantage of all your opportunities in life to get ahead of other people. Number five, not understanding female nature. No matter if you are young or old, every man should know that the wrong relationship can take away a big chunk of his life and his purpose. As a man, you should be very picky when choosing to commit to a relationship. Most guys are not careful when choosing a girl and only judge the girl by her looks. This often leads to a bad relationship. Many men have suffered from a bad marriage, and some even say it ruined their life. I always advise young men to work on themselves and learn about female nature first before even thinking about committing to a girl. Your purpose should always come first, and your girl has to support it. I cannot emphasize it enough. Learn about female nature, otherwise you will only get hurt and waste your time. Number six. Hey, you ever seen a My friend used to pay $163 for car insurance. Jet, now look how much he pays. Six. Not enjoying life. As said before, you shouldn't waste your prime, nor should you let opportunities slip by. However, you also have to take moments to enjoy life. This could be as simple as walking outside and breathing fresh air or taking a moment to appreciate all the good things you have in your life. Social media often gives a false image of life. Everyone is always happy and more successful on Instagram. 
Everyone seems to be doing better than you and to have a better life. This is a false reality. If you compare yourself to others who only show the best things on Instagram, you will feel miserable. Sometimes you have to shut down your social media and be in the moment. Be grateful for what you have and simply enjoy life. You could have been born without eyesight or without the ability to speak. You also could have not been born at all. Number seven, not forgiving people. The most painful thing is in a cut or a broken nose. The most painful thing is seeing the person you made the best memories with turn into a memory. Listen to that again. The most painful thing is seeing the person you made the best memories with turn into a memory. Can you imagine the pain and regret of holding a grudge against someone only to realize it wasn't a big deal when they pass away? It takes a strong person to say, I'm sorry, and an even stronger person to forgive. We all have different backgrounds and we all make mistakes. That is what makes us human. Learn how to own up to your mistakes and how to forgive others for their mistakes. Forgive more, free yourself from the grudges and enjoy happiness instead of wasting it. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by that was a good video. I like that. Yeah, I, I really, yeah, that last one is, uh, it rings true, you know. I, like I said, like you see, you were, especially now, like our newer generation was being almost raised by the internet at this point. You know, you're being, you're being exposed to different ideas and thoughts that may be able to, that may hinder your social interactions and your social ability to really uh, be open to other folks. You know, you, you, you see a lot of like the negative S stuff on these social platforms and kind of like the grades and brainwash the mind. <laughs> to see certain groups of people in a certain way or to think in a certain way or just not being able to be like just be an honest respectable person um i really appreciate that with any of my relationships that i have with anyone friends family you know partners like the fact that if you're able to like speak up and say what you did wrong and be able to acknowledge that and be able to take that in we can build further with that because you know, the worst thing is, you know, like you said, having those good memories with someone and then they become a memory. It's like, damn, it's like you don't want to have that type of thing where you're just constantly losing people in your life. Now, it's not that doesn't mean you should just keep people around who are clearly neglecting you and not, not being good to you. I mean, if it gets to a point where like it's not, you know, it's not going to change, then you obviously should let that person go. But like you say, you should be able to forgive them, take away what you was able to learn from them, what you gained from that. And see the happy things and not necessarily focus on the negatives and just be able to move forward with your life, you know? But yeah, man, really appreciate everyone coming back to the channel. Let us know if you want to see more videos like this. If it's interesting, hit that like button, subscribe, and share your other 10K. And we'll see you next time. Peace.